Before we get into today's episode, we are going to give you some words from our sponsors. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp, okay? Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash beers today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash beers. And another quick word from Squarespace. Thank you to our sponsor, Squarespace. Start with a free trial at squarespace.com. It's where dreams become websites. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to www.squarespace.com slash Friday to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And finally, a quick word from you know them, Game Time, baby. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an, ac- create an account, and use code FRIDAY for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code F-R-I-D-A-Y, FRIDAY, for $20 off. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Let's get into that episode, huh? So there's just, you got me a cactus? Yeah. That's awesome. That's pretty <laughs> sick. I was thinking about this. What happened to all my Hot Wheels? I had the sickest Hot Wheels ever. Knowing you, you probably you probably used them until they got ground up into dust. Probably, but I just I miss them, dude. I think I got to get some back. I might get more toys in my life. Think about becoming like an adult with toys. Yeah, careful. Yeah, careful. Yeah, true. It didn't sound good saying it. I was watching the uh, Nickelodeon doc, and one of the one of the real bad guys. He was an adult with a lot of toys. He had a room with toys. Which one? The, Brian Peck. Yeah, that guy's a piece of shit. I watched that too. Did you finish it? Um, no. Did you finish it? I haven't seen it. What's it on? HBO. Ah, oh, fuck. See, you know, we talked about this with Dahmer and the the the. She's stomping around back there like a fucking yeah animal. I was gonna yeah. Now she's gonna devour her yogurt. Now she's now like it's a, yogurt like time. An, like a, a big oh, elephant wait, no, trunk's no. gonna come out of her face and just. 24 hours in the day, this is the hour for yogurt. Okay, the problem is you guys start when I'm not fully ready. Well, I was 15 minutes late, so you had extra time. You had time. Because my dog's having diarrhea all over her butt. Yeah, what are you feeding it? Diarrhea? Mm-hmm. Shout out to Swartzen. Shout out to Swartzen. He needs a shout out right, right about now. Yeah. That was, actually, I don't think he cares. Fuck no, dude. He's the man. He is the man. Good to shake and do that shit. He's awesome. That's awesome. Dude, he's a legend. That's a rock star shit. That's all that is. What is, Where, what, what is going on? Guys, comment what Emily's salary should be. <laughs> comment comment if we should give Emily health insurance. She's going to need dental after this episode. Oh. Just kidding, dude. I'm just kidding. God. Emily, right? We're kidding, right? Sure. Emily, remember the story we rehearsed? We're kidding. Yes, we are joking. And so it's a du- it's doubling down on it because mm. I'm a toxic, <laughs> yeah. I'm a cancerous. Yeah. What is your hat? Is huh? it a cherry? Uh, I think so. Shout out to Jesse. Bloody Sunday. Sent me this. Did he send you one? Did he send you a I, cool sweatshirt and a hat? I think. Cool keychain? I think he did. Oh, yeah. It was like a cherry, I think. Or Yeah, it was a cherry or something. Mm. Huh. He said he said he was looking for like the next generation to rock his shit. Hmm. Just like, he was thinking like, hmm. he's, he kept hmm. saying icons. And I, that's all I heard. And I was like. Tracks. I did, I looked in the camera. I said tracks. Anyway, Nickelodeon. Yeah, it, it it's tough because it's like the like a couple episodes ago. I think it was the one where we had Rory on, where like we're talking about the Jared Fogle doc and the other doc. It's like that stuff. It, it it's it, it it's not good. It's it can't be watch. good for you to watch the Nickelodeon one. I I will check out though, just because. That's some fucked up shit. Yeah, I mean, we grew up on that. Drake and Josh is like, it, yeah, it probably still holds up as a hilarious show. My Instagram bio is literally a Drake and Josh quote. I'm obsessed with Drake and Josh. I could literally recite every single episode. Yeah. So yeah, it's sad. What's your IG it is, bio? It is brutal. What? What's your IG bio? Yeah, what's the quote? It's from that episode with the theater thug. Oh, that's such that? a it's good like, episode. whoa, take it easy, man. Yeah. Mm, that is classic. That is a great whoa, episode. Just take it easy, man. Um, That's probably what he said to Brian Peck. Dude, we stan him now. I do stan him. I was just making a little joke. No, isn't that crazy? Like the discourse has flipped on him. Who? Drake Bell? Drake Bell. It'll, yeah, yeah. I don't know what's going on. I don't know enough 
about it. I gotta do my I gotta do my research for it. I gotta do my research. However, and then we spend the whole episode talking about it. Um the uh yes, the theater thing. That was an awesome episode. Yeah, my um, favorite you, is the Pip Pip to Doodly Do one. That's a great one. You're kinda like Megan without all the on. without all the tech. Yeah. You're kinda like Drake and Josh. Well, yeah, that's the comparison I was trying to make. Without all the like we become best friends and you're like you're Megan. We're like Megan. We do you. wind up punches and punch you through the ceiling and then there's a there's a Megan shaped hole in the ceiling, like starfished out. You guys are kinda like iCarly. Oh, someone did comment that we were reverse iCarly. How do you Oh yeah, because the girl's the camera guy. Oh you're you so you're Freddie B. Yeah, and you guys are on a webcast. Oh dude, we are iCarly. And I guess oh. like I guess like I'm probably iCarly and you're probably like Sam. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably Car- yeah. yeah, I guess I'm probably Carly. You're probably Sam. Dang it. Mm, I'm probably Carly. I do it. Sam's a shit. You kidding me? Jeanette sure. McCurdy? Yeah, you can have her. <laughs> Fucking goddamn. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Fucking douchebag. What if I also have a proven puff buckets. pepper on you? Color's reaching so far deep into his bag. Bro can't be stopped. Can't be stopped, can't be moved, can't be rocked. What Cola. else is going on? Uh, so the the bridge this morning. Yeah, in Baltimore? Holy fuck. Pull this up, Biggie, please. Did people die? They had, like, probably, yeah. Brown. Oh, for sure. They're still rescuing them right now. Because it happened, like... I did like, not even hear about this. I've been, like, five hours ago. Wait, what the fuck happened? Wait, did you not see this? I saw the video of it collapsing, and a boat ran into it. Due to shipping, uh, yeah, this thing, apparently they were making a turn. The giant, um, what do you call it? Like, it carries a bunch of shipping containers. Cargo ship? Cargo ship. I wanted to know what the bang was. Ship hit the key bridge, sinking. The bridge is gone. Holy that water is freezing too. Video shows smoke Look at this. The How the fuck did they hit that? Apparently it lost power while they were maneuvering. The collapse happened in the early morning hours, Okay, look at this, Emily. Cars crossing moments before the ship hits. The traffic then paused, but vehicles were still Okay, go to Google. That's oh, horrific. Go to like a what's Damn. the name of the bridge? Dude, that's fucked up. Francis Key or something? Go to go, go to Google Maps and look at the bridge. That's like a Batman villain move. Take down the Baltimore Bridge. Okay, zoom in on that. Okay, look at this. That's how long it is. That's huge. If you live there at the bottom left and you work on the right, you just lost your job. Because your commute becomes three hours now. Like, look, if you want to get from that point to Dund- 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 Dundalk or Sparrow's Point, you're fucked. Yeah. Jesus. That that is minimum like three hours. Yeah, that's gonna fuck up the entire. Because then everyone has to drive around it too. That is, it is such a disaster. Besides the the people that died, I mean, what it's gonna fuck everything up. It's pretty oh, horrible. Also, if they knew that this boat, I mean, I don't really know all the facts, but if they knew the boat was not working like wouldn't they like get make sure no one got on the go ahead bridge uh, i think it was it, or was it i think it was like really a happened three, really it hap- i think it happened all within like three minutes Imagine. like they're trying to turn the thing loses power the, i mean it luckily it was like super early morning um imagine being the captain and well it's not his fault I know, but I mean, it is. You're the captain of the ship. No, but if you're okay, if you're turning the boat and the whole thing loses power, that's that's what they're saying right now. Allegedly. Yeah, but you're still the captain. You knocked out a bridge. It could have been a hacker, maybe. Maybe, but imagine but, just when you know you're about to hit the bridge and you're just standing there like, oh man, this is bad. I'm about yeah. to kill people. I'm about to literally end lives. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, what do you think's worse, the guy that tipped the the cruiser? The captain that like capsized the the cruise ship, the Carnival cruise ship, mm. or this guy, or the Suez Canal guy. Remind me of the Suez Canal guy. The Suez Canal, the ship blocked it, and there was a supply chain issue for months because of it. It's like the most heavily trafficked port for trade 
um, somewhere in the east. I don't know, somewhere in uh, Europe or Asia, I believe. Do you not remember this? Look up Suez Canal boat. That's crazy. You don't remember that. It was during COVID, so How do you, spell you like? were probably getting drunk and high every night. You had no like you had no brain function. S U E Z Canal probably had no brain function. Probably COVID must have lasted five seconds for you. Liam, yeah, yeah. I was talking to you. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I love bridges. It's a shame. Yeah. So it. this captain, like fucking Tokyo, drifted blocked oh yeah the most heavily trafficked port oh, yeah. and then the memes were the funniest thing i had ever seen <laughs> yeah, in my life yeah, i do remember the memes now there needs to be a website dedicated to i'm dead serious about this this could be a good business idea because i'm worried memes are going to get lost in the history books like like when i was reading about world war ii in a history book like memes didn't exist at the time but i always wondered like would there be funny memes about like memes existed at the time yeah, but like not. They weren't as funny as you'd think they'd be. No, I know. Some They're them, like political cartoons. Some of them were hilarious. P- political cartoons and posters. I know, but memes like. You seen the ones I'm talking about? <laughs> there were memes back then and they were the most oh, like, racist. Oh, racist memes. Yeah, yeah, dude. Okay, but I mean like now with globalism, like everyone sees these memes. Even my dad's like, what is this? I don't understand. Like my dad's getting Suez Canal memes. Yeah, we got to make a... I'm learning... Sometimes I learn news through memes. So there should be a time capsule online where you can look up any tragedy or event and it shows you all the memes that got traffic Or just the it. date. Date and time. Any date and time. Say you like landed on the Oscars a year or two ago, whenever the fuck that was. Yeah. You see all the Will Smith stuff. Whatever date you randomly throw in, you get to see what the memes were of the day. You know how we That's like... That's a great idea. You know how we like transmit... There's like those images we transmit from Earth so that if aliens receive the signal, they can like piece together like that we've discovered math and we have like these algorithms we put on it and language. Like we sent this out as like a a way for them to understand our civilization. We should just do that with memes. And they have to piece together our entire history with memes starting at when did memes start? I can ask cheeseburger. Was that the first one? Memes are ancient. There's there's forms of memes back in the day. I can has cheeseburger is kind of like Bob Cousy. Mm. You get where I'm going with that? Yeah, I do. I agree with that. Fuck. Oh, dude, I had another idea. That's <coughs> reminds me. <coughs> I was trying to look up when the Bruins played the other day. I'm Google. I just Google Bruins game tonight. Fucking eight different websites give me. I can't find the fucking time of the game and what's yeah. it on. So, yeah. so frustrating. I have to jump through hoops to find out when a fucking team is playing. Most frustrating thing ever. I want to start a website that's just, it's just called uh, Who Plays Today? And you can just click a sport, click a team. Like you can have your favorites and always see where they're going to play. And just any team and any sport ever, you can see who's on TV today. And also that idea made me think you could just put a date in and you could see who played and what the score was for a random date. Like, oh, who played on my birthday? You know? When I was Are born. you joking right now? No. Do you have the ESPN app? Yeah, but it doesn't do it. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. I use it every day for that reason. I don't want to fuck those people. <laughs> Hold on. Look. Pull up the ESPN app. Okay. Okay, look. I want to know if the Mavs play tonight. So I click NBA. Boom. Every single game too, today. F- too, when too they, slow. When they play. Too slow. And what channel they're on. Yeah, too slow. <laughs> Too many hoops to jump through, honestly. <laughs> honestly. I literally clicked two buttons. No, nah, I saw you click like four. <laughs> no, you clicked. No, you, I'm pretty No, sure. you probably clicked to like 29. I saw you rip. You were like scrolling and shit. <laughs> it might be feel like a dumb Man, guy. you're a head ass. You're a head ass, fuck boy. Man, I'm in love with you, man. Fuck. Fuck, man. Fuck. 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 Okay, so I got, me and Chad got, um, we got to go to the Kyle Mooney Y2K premiere last night. It's a great movie. And uh, it was awesome. Kyle gave a speech before. I'm so jealous. For, so I saw him in person, which was pretty cool. Guess who's sitting right in front of me to the left? No idea. Nathan Fielder. What? I was I was totally starstruck. You motherfucker. I play, I didn't say anything, though. I no played shit, my cool. dude. Were you going to say something? Were you going to say hi? No. He's going to look at you and be like, just. I think he would just like. He'd just hand you seed. He'd hand you bird seed. Or like, he would ahead. make eye contact with me, and I would rapidly age 100 years and just melt into a pile of bones. Or probably the bird seed. Yeah, probably, you know what? Probably the bird probably seed. Probably just like hand you like sunflower seeds, and he's like, I want you to swallow these. Don't even chew them up. I want to see you swallow 80 sunflower seeds at once. I want to see what that does to you. Yeah. And he'd say, yes, sir. 
well, is this going to get me a role in your next big HBO cool TV show? And he said, I don't know, maybe. No, I think I think everything he makes is like we're the antithesis of everything he makes. Yeah. We're like what he's making fun of. I think that's even too much of a compliment for us. No, it's it's he's so self-aware and we're the end, other end of the spectrum. Yeah. We might Basically, be. we're fuel for his big spaceship of comedy. Mm. I, I'd be okay with that being in my life. I'd be fine. Uh, I'd probably, probably, probably be fine. Fuck, dude. Jameis Winston was at the Delta. I, I, uh, I flew first class. On whose dime? How did that happen? Don't worry about it. For, Don't worry about for it. the company? Huh? Oh. How'd you swing that? It was uh, an unbelievable experience. Did you get upgraded? Maybe. Definitely through work because then he won't say anything. Let me explain. Well, first of all, uh, I go up to Jack in the Delta One Lounge, which, by the way, holy fuck. The Delta Sky Lounge is... I felt like I walked into whatever the, the nicest district was in fucking Hungry. The Hunger Games. And I was District 12 the whole time. <laughs> and this was just the high society with people with weird hair and lipstick on doing gay shit. That's what I felt like. I was like, this is unbelievable. I was eating cookies. Uh, the bathrooms are incredible. Jameis Winston was there. I missed him. I was fo- so fucking mad. But dude, when I got on the plane, w- walked into the Sky Lounge, awesome. Left. First class boards first. I, as people were walking by me, tried to make eye contact with as many people as possible. And I just spit at them. (laughs) To the point where I ran out of spit and I was just making the noise. Dude, you have, you're so fucked now because. I know. Next time you go to New York, no Delta Lounge, no first class. I am fucked. You got a taste. Yeah, you're just like a, it's like in those movies when the rich girl has a fun fling with the, the poor guy from the. What's the what's the movie uh, with Chris Evans where he's on the train? Oh, uh, Snowpiercer. Oh yeah, yeah. I was, that is I was Chris Evans. I was at the top of the train in Snowpiercer. Wait, that's not Chris Evans. No, oh, it is Chris yeah. Evans. I was thinking of Jeremy Renner for some reason. Hmm. But I was also thinking how funny it would be if I uh, I opened the curtain in the middle of the night and looked back at Coach and I was like, "Send us your leader. We do wish to discuss terms. <laughs> you may have water." Also, there was this uh, giant giant man sleeping next to me. And I had to piss in the middle of the night, but his legs were completely out. So I was like, all right. I waited to the point where I had to go. I had to pee. So I stood up and I just carefully put my leg over his. The second my leg hits the ground, he opens his eyes and I'm straddling his legs facing him like this. And I was just like, I have to pee. And he said, what? And I just kept going. That's really horrendous. I did, that's horrendous. It's always it, the worst. It, it felt good to be in first class. On a level, at, fr- I, at first I I was uh, imposter syndrome. I was so guilty. When I walked up and I checked in, I thought the lady was going to say, get the fuck out of here, you <laughs> stupid <laughs> mick. You literally, you fucking freak. Get the fuck away from me, you stinky Irish alcoholic prick. Go sit the fuck down. Pfft. Go sit the fuck down. That's what I thought was going to happen. And they were like, cool, you come on, get on the yeah. plane. It was insane. I really, that, I really thought someone was going to come rip me out. I've, I've gotten first class once on like a round trip. And I, yeah, I had the exact same thing. Like actual imposter syndrome where I was like, I think I should just go sit in the back. I did the most white trash thing ever. They give out hot towels. I put it on my face. I thought you were supposed to put it on your face. I take it off for a second. Everyone's wiping their hands with it. And I was like, oh, I hope nobody saw that. <laughs> Dude next to me was like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah, the hot towels thing is like a joke to me. That's like too much. I loved it. I wanted, oh my God. Was it the type of first class where you can like f- fully lay down or mm-hmm. was it just big? Wait, you got a lie down seat? Yeah. Dude, it was the nicest thing I've ever Wait, done. wait, wait, wait. Like completely flat on your back? Yes, sir. Like in the little pods type of thing. Yeah, yeah. No way. Bro, it was utterly life-changing. You're so fucked. I, and I fly all the time. <laughs> you, you're never going to like... No, dude. I'm flying next week to fucking Indianapolis and St. Louis come to those shows. But I have layovers and I'm flying coach the whole time. I have six flights in two days. Holy fuck. 
Just to just to get from you're, Indy to St. Louis and so back to LA. Toast. Six flights. All coach. I'm fucked, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to snow pierce my way back into the <laughs> my, I'm gonna have to Chris I'm now I'm now I'm full Chris Evans and Snowpiercer when I get back into coach. I'm like the forgotten son of the first class. I like that they're they're feeding bugs to coach. That's what all the snacks are. That's what that is in that movie, right? It's like uh, it's bug, bugs. bug bricks. It's a bug farm. And then they get to the they don't know what it is until they walk through yeah, the yeah. cabin and they see that they've eaten, been eating bugs. And they all freak out like it's so disgusting. If I found out I was eating bugs, I would I'd be like, oh, that sucks. I, but I mean I've already been doing it. I've been doing it twenty years now. Uh, this is the guy that did Parasite. You know that? Yeah. Snow. B- B- What's his name, Emily? Look it up. Yeah. He's got. Why don't, a why don't you try to guess it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually what I was gonna say. Yeah. Um, say, it. go give Bong, it a shot. Bong, I actually can't. My eyesight's so bad. Bong Joon Ho. Is that right? Bong Joon Ho. Yeah. Uh, he's got a new movie with uh, uh, Robert Pattinson coming out. Oh fuck yeah! Take a quick break to talk to you about SoCo. This episode is brought to you by Southern Comfort. With an innovative blend of fruit and spices, SoCo Whiskey is the original ready-for-anything spirit. Okay, Satisfying on its own and ideal in any mixed drink. Southern Comfort is tasteful and approachable however you drink it and whoever you drink it with. I am now an old-fashioned guy, and so I've been getting to some SoCo. Pretty sweet stuff. Highly recommend. SoCo Original our bad boy right here, uses an iconic recipe of sweetly spiced fruits with a dash of whiskey flavor that has been popular for decades in a category of its own. And then SoCo Black is uh, not this one, it's a different one, has a whiskey kick with a hint of sweetness that is suave and complex, but it's simple to use in any cocktail of your choosing. I like them in old fashions, okay? No matter the moment, Southern Comfort is ready for anything. Packed with flavor, mixes with anything, and easy to drink. Next time you're at the bar, go ahead and order some SoCo Sour Shots. Those are fire. One part SoCo, two parts Sour Mix. They're delicious and guaranteed to keep the party going. And they will, dude. And they will. Let's get back into the episode. Yeah, this weekend I was in Vegas. I lost so much money, but it was so funny to me yeah, Emily, start. Um, we're gonna pull in Willie D because he was in Vegas with me. But it's crazy to me that like I hate Vegas so much, and just walking around, I hate all the people there. And like, it was so crazy because like once I pointed this out to everyone, people were like, "Holy shit, you're right!" Like every single person there is like fat. I can't tell if they're a man or a woman and they're limping and they're limping to and from slot machines. It's like they are NPCs, like amorphous. They look like just chewed flavorless pieces of gum, like just nothing, nothing going on. Just pressing these buttons. It's the saddest thing I've ever seen. I saw two guys, um, (laughs) they <laughs> were like sitting in the same slot machine chair, screaming at each other with four cops standing around them because one guy left to go to the bathroom and the machine was hot. So another guy sat down and started playing it and he wouldn't give it up. And I was like, How, just the, de- the the delusion you have to have to think there's a hot machine where you're willing to get thrown out of a casino. These guys are like both 50. It's hell. It makes sense. They want you to feel like you need to keep putting money in. Like you win big. Then you lose, and you're like, well, I just won big. This machine's hot, so then you lose even more. All right, get that fucker in here. Hi, friends. Willie, there you are. I can hear you. Isn't this kind of cool how we're on the podcast? Yeah, I don't – this is kind of overwhelming, honestly. This is pretty cool technology. No, it's cool because I was just telling him how cool it is. That you guys have a podcast? Yeah. A punk thing. A punk thing. Okay, can you see us fine now? Yeah, it's perfect. Where are you? I had to update Chrome to do this. Uh, I am in New York City, Tribeca. All right, let's welcome Willie D to the pod. Willie. Crazy, cra- crazy bastard. Is Lego set behind you there? Yeah, this is the, um, I'm blanking on the name, but it's like the first ship in A New Hope. Hey, like Willie, check this open. out. Look what I got for my B-Day. Emily got me Let a me Lego see. cactus. Oh, is Wait. it your birthday today? No. Two it days was, ago, we one. all forgot it. Nobody said anything. But look, me. look, Lego. No way, it was two days ago. Yeah. Yeah. About it. Look at that, a Lego cactus. Well, I was with you two days ago. No, you weren't. How old are you, 30? Um, f- <laughs> for- That's a gig. Wait, 40? Fent to my end. Yeah. Yeah, I might be 30, but you act like you're 15. Willie. It was. Oh, did it cut out? No, no, no. 
I, uh, I wish almost. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, Willie and I were in Vegas, and um, yeah, pretty horrific trip. Mm. Pretty horrific. Yeah. Pretty god awful. Um, I misled you not- a little bit. This is not a gambling story. Oh, okay. Willie, why don't you <laughs> just just tell it? This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. It was one of the, it was probably the worst thing that's ever happened. All right, get to it. I've been waiting three days for this fucking story. <laughs> okay. So we on Friday night, uh so Wednesday, Thursday night, we went to the sphere two nights in a row, which is sick. So Friday night we decided to go to a Bruce Springsteen concert. He's playing second show of his new tour. I've been a lifelong fan. I was the super boss. excited. It was my first, first time seeing the boss, legendary performer. It's it like was a two sick. and a half hour show. It was unbelievable. It was awesome. Um, we went to the show. It was me, Will, Strider, and Jason. Uh, Jason was a go- huge fan. Jason was in acting insane. He, it was just yeah. He Jason kept like protest, getting- by the way is uh, my roommate and in uh, a lead editor here at the company. He is. He is. He was. Um, yeah. He was a big fan. So he was loving it. Uh, anyway, we we went. Me, Will, and Strider took a little bit of a uh, little bit of chocolate, chocolate bars, Port- portobello, chocolate. portobellos, mm-hmm. portobellos, mm-hmm. if you will. Mm-hmm. We were feeling fun. Uh, it was a great show. So this weird thing happened. Like right when we got in there, one of the f- in the within the first five or ten songs, he played "Racing in the Street," which is like a deep cut, sad song. He never plays it. I love that song. Lady in front of me loved it too. She's like wraps her arms around my leg during it and start is crying. And like, as she wraps her arms around my, like imagine we're sitting in a stadium and she's the seat directly in front of me. She kind of like twists back and like wraps her arms around my legs. And is like, is this okay? She and kept I was like, pulling on the back of his knee. I noticed the entire yeah. time. And it was just being were like, you guys both this- sitting down. Yes. At this point. Yes. Uh, no, you were both standing like cheering. No, no. During the sad song, we were both sitting. Oh, okay, okay. I, I was saying during this song, Racing the Street, is like when she first did it and she was like, is this okay? And I was like, uh, yeah, sure, this is fine. And then she's like t- touching my leg kind of throughout the whole night. It's kind of this weird thing, but I was just like, whatever. Maybe she like, in my mind, I'm like, maybe like her son loved Bruce Springsteen and died or something. Like, that, that's actually, like, it's oh, funny you say old, that because, but yeah, she was like 60. Oh. It's funny you said that because that when I saw her ask you, that was my first conclusion was like, her son yeah. must have died. It, it was, it's kind of, it, which probably, I don't know. It's probably it wrong. was very, it was bizarre. It's probably just a horny. We, that's a crazy. Uh, her son's dead. <laughs> I know. <laughs> she sees her dead son in Willie D. I mean, we all that do. That was a, that was the shrooms telling you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's such oh, a shroom yeah. thought. Yeah. <laughs> She's probably more, yeah. like, go on, go on. Anyway, so go. That's kind of going on in the backdrop of the concert that she keeps touching my leg, but whatever. Uh, Ro- he plays the song Rosalita towards the end. It's a it's a that's a big dancing song. So we're up jumping dancing it's the boss i go i go to take a sip out of my drink while i'm jumping along to the song she goes for the back of the knee while my leg is like in the air grabs it i land weird i fall forward in a stadium onto a 60 year old woman take her with me into the woman in front of her i fall down two rows of the stadium in the, uh, by the by the way, at this point the house lights were on, like, oh. there, it was, like the shroud of darkness was gone. It was just like, oh my god! Everyone turned, whole stadium looking at me. It was whole so bad. Was, like the lady in front was like facing the wrong way on her back, spilled out. Like ah, uh, the lady in <laughs> front of her, they had like five <laughs> people come escort her out because um it looked like she got hurt really bad no <laughs> nobody nobody got injured but dude dude it was the most uncomfortable experience of my entire life it ruined my entire week uh Wait, what how, else happened what happened well, when you okay, got up what'd you say it's not your fault so it wasn't my fault but it's the, her dead son's I was in the court of public <laughs> opinion when, it, when it's all six-year-old people like i'm not gonna win that i wasn't gonna stand up and be like she grabbed me i was just like true because clearly- you you it i i don't believe it was your fault um but you were taking like shooters so no one's gonna believe the guy that was like taking a yeah. shooter and was like dancing the whole time they're gonna think he's like a drunk asshole 
I took a sh- I took one shooter that was given to me by the lady. That same lady that grabbed my leg gave me like a nip in the middle of the car. Two. It was two shooters. It was two shooters. So okay. did we find out what happened to her and why did her son indeed die? They were both fine. So I talked to them because Willie left immediately. <laughs> Classic. Dude, he flees scenes. I, ta- I respect it. I exactly. talked to them. Nobody was hurt. In fact, they were like, is Willie okay? And I was like, the lady in front well, was like, why was she grabbing his leg the whole time? Did you not ask? Her? I didn't ask, but she said, she wanted to suck on his John Thomas. I thought she was going to be mad, but the, her and her husband were like, is your friend okay? And I was like, yeah. is my friend okay? She's not mad because she knows she did it. Dude. I know, I know. But Willie fled the scene. We meet him outside the stadium. You do that every no, no, they, no, no, no. Wait, wait, this is the best part. They, being the good friends they are, decide to leave and go like make sure I'm okay or whatever. So they no, leave the no, stadium. no, we didn't leave. We stayed the entire time to check on, make sure the lady was okay. Okay, okay. We well, stayed, eventually, like, we stayed till the top. end of the concert because I didn't want to be like, because I wanted to make sure the lady was okay because I didn't have the full story at the time. Got it, got it. So there was a I, there, there was a there was a chunk in my mind where you just tackled this lady and left until <laughs> and but um. Yeah, so we stayed the whole time. They were totally fine. But when we went outside the stadium to find Willie, he came back in a Bruce Springsteen shirt. So the concert kept going. He left, went to a different section, bought a Bruce Springsteen shirt, and finished the concert. And for 20 minutes, we were trying to crack him. I was like, you bought that shirt to hide your identity. He's like, <laughs> no, I came in. I came in because I, wa- I love Bruce Springsteen. I said I was going to buy a shirt, remember? And he finally caved after 20 minutes. He was like, yeah, you're right. I was trying to hide my identity. It was a serial killer move watching him come out in a the boss shirt. You're, you're a psychopath, dude. The no, I'm not. The I'm... fact that you ran away instantly, I bet it was like a fucking cat hitting water, dude. You just scared yeah. right out of there. Yeah. You, you, that woman barely opened her eyes and you were all the way down the stairs. No, no. He took a set. He was thinking about it. I took a second and I made sure everyone was like not like seriously hurt. Yeah. I was sitting there like it was right when it kind of had settled down. And I was just like, I can't be here right now. Like this is a it's not good. But this yeah. lady was pulling his leg the entire night. Like yeah, she was. her husband was there. She was doing this. Yeah, it was yes. weird. He I, he didn't care. I, I think he, he didn't. was a cuck. Like he asked me to fuck her. <laughs> okay, I, yeah, watch. That's, yeah. I'm Which... still not understanding like why the leg yank. Like, how did you just not ask her? Like, are you OK? Well, he probably liked it because he's a sex pervert, dude. Yeah. It's cut, since I'm a sex pervert, I kind of liked it. Yeah. But um, it was... Um, it was... I, I mean, it, me and Strider were talking about it. We all have those intrusive thoughts. I've never seen that happen. Someone falling forward. Domino effect. What was so funny is Willie stood up like... And all the old ladies in the front turn and point to him. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. You remember that? Yeah. Oh, they got I honestly, with you? I honestly barely remember like that just the it was so overwhelming like do you know the fear of like that moment when you first start realize like oh my god I can't stop my momentum yeah I was like so flustered dude I, and by the way like this is giving me such bad anxiety the story it, it's hard to picture but both ladies both old women spilled onto the floor okay but I feel like I'm thing. in trouble here's the thing. I feel like I'm in trouble right now after hearing this story here's how I know it's not his fault though because all of her friends were like really nice to me, Strider and Jason, and we're like, hey, it's cool, we're good. Like, she, the lady in front checking on Willie, the husband didn't even care. He was like, he's good, right? <laughs> I, this, I actually really, like my knee is still like super swollen. I've been taking Tylenol every day. I got, I had a bloody nose, which I didn't even realize until later, but yeah, it was pretty bad. I actually kind of banged myself up pretty bad. Jesus Christ, tough. dude. I think that's I think that part of the story is for the lawyers. Yeah, yeah. You were I saw videos of you. You were blacked out drunk. <laughs> Most no, I was of that not. Trip. I saw a video of you dancing and, and like shoving a dude. Oh. That yeah, was are you doing a bit or? No, Jason showed me last night. Oh, I no. Well, we, we were, no, we weren't that drunk at Bruce cuz th- this was I think this was the last night, right? No, this wasn't at Bruce. This was you were somewhere else. Oh, the night I, I, before, sure. You were at an empty bar with all you guys. Yeah, we were pl- they were playing pop punk music, pop punk music, and we were moshing. We, we he actually had to go to Bruce sober because he had to run like the fucking account or something. He hadn't been yeah. drinking all day. I was, so I'll defend him there, but the 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 only the the changing the shirt is the serial killer thing. I can't get over. I think I had to do it. 
I don't think I a bus I don't think there was a, a bus goes by. Willie D Willie D's there. <laughs> he disappears <laughs> after the bus. Yeah, it was awesome. You and fucking Collins, man. No, 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 no. Col- Colin's story gets wiped from the history books compared to this. Fuck, I wish I saw this, dude. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. It was no, so don't. bad. I wish it, it was on video. It was so There's bad. No footage of this. Anyway. It was so bad that it felt like it happened to me. It, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. No, it, it, it felt. I felt like I have done something wrong. It, That's how I feel right now. It felt like. like when a car almost, like, runs a red light and almost hits you, and you can't stop thinking about it. Yeah, you're like, oh, oh. Like a day later, you're like, oh my god, I almost fucking died. That is watching a human car accident. Yeah, I was. I haven't stopped thinking about it. Honestly, it's kind of the worst. Yeah. <sighs> Not for a long time. And yeah, then you dude. hit the cycle on the plane home. And then I <laughs> what's that? Poop peed and threw up. That's, I the uh, dude, I've been there, dude. I'm a golden glove. Three separate trips. <laughs> okay, but this okay, now the sphere, coolest thing yeah. I've ever seen. The best was part awesome. was the documentary is like the earth is so beautiful, and you feel like you're there. Like it's it yeah. sounds dumb to say, but you feel like you are looking through a window into earth like it actually feels like you're in a spaceship and you're looking through the the windshield but you were fucked up on drugs no we had we had a couple beers the first time we took shrooms the second time because we went back to back we we just had a few beers and it was the same experience it was awesome uh it was so funny though because like like it's dan aronofsky's nature doc at the sphere it's 55 minutes it's like oh the earth is so amazing and then it's like, you know, it's like kind of a commentary on like how poorly we've treated the earth and it makes you feel really bad and it makes you feel like you want to do something. And then after it's over, you have to walk back through the Venetian, uh, buy yeah. all the slot machines <laughs> and buy all the, all these fat genderless people limping through smoking cigarettes, smoking, breathing through an oxygen tank cramming all their money into a slot machine Dude, uh i feel like people in vegas remember the moving fucking lunch from ned's declassified intro when there's a frog yeah. in it that's what people move like in vegas yeah lunch lunch yeah correct lunch that's you man good hearing i just can't, i can't believe that the venetian let them do that on their premises because it immediately made me resent the venetian as we walked through it it was hilarious also they get. We didn't know this. They, they give you an hour before the movie starts to look at all the exhibits, because the, the sphere is like an experience. Mm. It is. There are two exhibits, and you have an hour to like play with them. One is a photo booth, but you don't see the it's, photo. But you don't see the photo. They email it to you. That's awesome. And people wait. People wait like forty minutes in line for the photo. What the fuck? And then the <laughs> other one was a robot. Where there's clearly a guy with a microphone standing 30 feet away talking to the crowd in a robot voice. It's AI. <laughs> and you get to do that for an hour. Yeah, it was pretty. And there's one there's one robot that only speaks Spanish. <laughs> and it was just, there was no one there. But then you'd walk by and it'd be like, hola, quieres hablar conmigo? And everyone just keep going. What the hell? Uh, yeah, it was funny. I You know, I have one thing and then I'll, I'll get out of your guys' hair. But uh, Please, you guys... Yeah. Are you in the world of t-shirts lore at all? Yeah, yeah dude, it's we not saw, going well. We he's saw. he's ripping hard R's on the city no, streets. No, 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 no. I have a personal story. I have new info. Mm-hmm. I last night I was at I met up with a couple of my friends at like an Irish bar in Manhattan. Michael Quinn shows up. Oh, the you guy that that's like his guardian. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. He shows up to the bar. Me and my buddies are all like, fuck that dude. Like, Obi Obi Wan to Luke. Yeah, he's a bad guy. He should uh Is he a bad guy? Bad- yeah. Yes. Wait. What's the world He's of T-shirts lore? We can't I've like heard. It. We can't explain it to you right now. I'll, I'll try later. Yeah. Okay. This guy's like exploiting. Yeah. Josh. He's like pretending to help him with like his alcoholism, but really it's just it's like worse. Yeah. It's insane. Anyway, so we're there. The guy's there. At one point, my buddy goes up to get a drink, and like Michael Quinn says, like, "Hey, what's up, man?" And and my buddy just goes like, "Hey, I think what you're doing to that kid is disgusting, and you're a despicable human being." And he just loses it. He starts like screaming. He's like, oh, you don't know who the fuck I am. Like, I know the owner of this place. He like gets the owner and he's like, that guy told me to go fuck myself. And my buddy's like, whoa, I didn't say that. And like there's this whole thing, whole confrontation. He ends up leaving the bar, goes across the street to another bar 
where he's posting these like unhinged TikToks, ends up going live on Instagram and saying the N word. Michael, Michael saw- Quinn? Yes. <laughs> Last night. I just saw it on Reddit. Oh, that's, where Josh, so that's where Josh learned it. He got so hammered at the bar alone across the street and was so rattled by this incident that he said the N word. Dude, you wow. oh, that's awesome. Yeah, you're you're, you're like you're like caught, not what he's saying, but the downfall that's going to come is awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. insane. Wow, Michael oh, cool. Quinn, you are a bad dude. Shout out my buddy Pat. He's the hero. Oh, and he threatened the Irish uh, Republican Army against us. IRA. He was like. The I- He's like, I'm, the IRA is going to get your ass. Like, you don't know who I'm connected to. It was insane. And then after he got kicked out, the owner of the bar came up and was like, yeah, I'm glad you said that. Like, he needs to hear that kind of stuff. Well, what he's doing, like, we, we've all known this guy forever, but what he's doing to that kid is so fucked up. So, Jesus insane. Christ. Wait, that's great. I mean, you guys, like, might be the first domino in his downfall. That's, Actually, yeah. no. You know what I just realized? It doesn't matter. He's still going to do it. I mean, Josh yeah. just said the N-word on on uh what was on bad. his t- oh no someone recording someone filmed him. him that was bad yeah. that poor kid dude that's i mean that's like it's awful his dad's a drug addict and his mother's dead like and then the the he's severely disabled mentally and then the biggest scumbag ever took him under his wing it's like yeah he's just been handed off to the wrong person every time it's so sad he's in paris right now oh good for him yeah I'm sure that'll go well. The, the yeah. World of T-Shirts and Daniel Larson documentary on about just oh my god manipulation via Larson social Larson? media. Uh, Daniel Larson's getting locked up right now. I think yeah. Ugh. DL is not doing hot. Well, he, yeah, he. I mean, I think he's schizophrenic. He's something. I mean, he, he's, he's schizo he's old, something. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's great lore. Good inside yeah. info, Willie. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Insider scoop. Um, Liam, that our. My interview with you just went live. Can you share the story? Yes, okay. yes. All right, cool. All right. Um, thanks for having me on, guys. Thanks, thanks for, for thanks for telling your truth. I was Thank just you. moving past that, I think, emotionally, and I think I just need a few more days now. So, well, thanks for making it. Yeah, of course. Anytime, dude. No. <sighs> Fuck, dude, I have anxiety. Yeah. How do you think I felt? Yeah, holy shit. Um, and that was Willie D uh, from... Will and Rusty's Playdate podcast, guys. Uh, they just had on Chad and JT, so go check out that episode. It's very fun. Very funny episode. They got they got some great segments you're really going to enjoy. You're going to love it. Check them out. All right, should we get into characters, a cracker of the week? Cracker of the week to calm our nerves. Yeah, let's do it. Let's seamlessly transition to cracker, cracker. of the week. There's not going to be reverb. Cracker of the week. I mean, it's insane. I mean, it's it's crazy. Cracker of the week. How many, what are we? Uh, five in a row now. And then and then everyone everyone's gonna hear it on the live episode and go, "There's reverb. He's crazy." So you're gaslighting me. All right. So to set the scene. I don't know what JoJo Siwa did before. I missed. I do. Step in. Explain JoJo Siwa to me if I don't know who she is. JoJo Siwa is like, she was the face of Nickelodeon for years. Like, she had her own show. She has like what show? toys. Like, I don't know. Some fucking. Well, first she started on Dance Moms. Like, oh, her okay. mom, like, she's a dancer. Her mom was on it, whatever. Then she got her own, like, Nickelodeon show. She, like, sells toys. She sells clothes she was like i'm trying to compare her to someone but there really like isn't anyone to compare to but like imagine like what's that girl with the pink hair from nickelodeon or like when you were younger like roly poly bitch like i don't even know Roly poly bitch ariana grande no 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 like she was a character on the show and she like had like this bob i know what you're talking about yeah oh from the puppet show yeah one of those. I yeah. know what you're talking about. Like she's like that, but like in real life. Okay. Okay. No. Like there's up. merch. There's toys. There's huge Nickelodeon games. star. This is what I've got. And she's, she's a singer now. She's trying to make a transition into serious pop music, kind of like a Miley Cyrus or an Olivia Rodrigo, I would say. And she's releasing this new song, and she's been dropping TikToks promoting it and getting fucking eviscerated in the. Comments. Is it like Rebecca Black level of? She is. Yeah. She's been getting eviscerated before this, like 
she has so she came out as lesbian and all of a sudden so her like style was like she wore bows like people like she, there were bows being sold like yeah. for her because that was her, her thing she's like pink girly pop whatever and now that she came out as lesbian she's trying to dress more like i, I would like okay flip. okay i think, I think i'm ready and she yeah. took a big swing for the fences and, a, and she whiffed hard okay i'm ready. i wish her the best Get ready for the shoulder pump right here. Ready? Right here. It's nightmare zone stuff. Okay, you're going to hate me, but I don't see how that's any different than like a lot of people doing that. It's 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 pretty cringe. Watch the next it, one I say. It, yeah. It's not good. But like, it's just like it, I, I it, think I've I feel like I've seen that a hundred times with our algorithm. Yeah, it's just like an AI written Disney song, pretty much. Yes, okay, that's it's fair. Like, it's it's just generic. Play the next one too. You also have to understand that she, like, was this before. That, okay, I play the next one. Yeah, again, same thing. It, it's cringe, but I'm not. My jaw isn't hitting the floor. So uh, that to me, that's jaw dropping stuff. It's just like I just don't care, and I don't mean that in a mean. No, 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 no. I don't think it's. I, don't I just think you like. Should. I, I've. I can't get it out of my fucking head, dude. Forty six point five million views. She's massive. This, this is what I wanted to show you. So everyone has been oh, that... duetting this video of her. Let me see. Like she all of a sudden has this new style click it, click like it, came it. out of nowhere. She's, she's click just, it. She lacks any self awareness is what's going on. You could on. have one heaven phone call. This is a random heaven phone call. Okay, nothing. She's trying to thirst trap. serious. If it was serious, I'd call grandma, grandpa, uncle. I never got to meet someone like that. Unserious heaven phone call. Who are you calling? Personally, I'm calling the people in the Titanic submarine. The situation, the submersible, that whole thing. I'm calling them. My friend said she would call John Benet Ramsey. I feel like that's a pretty good one. All right, I don't care. Who, Exit out. How many who followers? Who are you calling? What are we? She's what are we asking? Got a lot. Give me, give me, give me your take on this. Point six million followers. Isn't it crazy? You can just like this is the first time I'm learning who this is. Yeah, I this just someone can no be idea. so extremely massive, and you're like, like there, there's so many, there's so many people out there. Like there's a there's a comp. It sounds so dumb to say, but like they always say it. Like there's, it's a competition for eyeballs. Like, I've just, this isn't a corner of the internet I don't know about. And they are, like, so extremely famous. Oh, she's only 20. I feel bad now. She's, she just came out saying she wants kids, and she's now dating anyone, like, serious looking for kids. Liam, could well, help your stand-up career. You think, I'd, you think I'd trade my babe for JoJo Siwa? No. Hell no, nah, dog. No, it's like at the end of Dune. You tell your gal <laughs> you love her. And then you marry Jojo Siwa. I have to. And then she she understands that she's hurt, but she understands. Yeah, yeah. Taking a quick break to talk to you again about our sponsor, BetterHelp, okay? You know, the first thing I would do if I had an extra hour in the day, I'd I'd probably nap, you know? Uh, A lot of us spend our lives wishing we had more time. The question is, time for what? If time was unlimited, what would you what would you use it? You know, how would you use it? The best way to squeeze that special thing into your schedule is to know what's important to you and make it a priority. Therapy can help you find what matters to you so you can do more of it. Guys, if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself, and it isn't just for those who've experienced major trauma, you know? It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist, and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash beers today to get $10 off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash beers. Also, a quick word again from Squarespace, dude. Okay, you know this podcast is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace 
makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time all in one place, all on your terms. Almost Friday's website is used with Squarespace, and it looks awesome. It looks great. It's very easy to use, super simple, great interface. Um, Squarespace, if you're just starting out looking to make a website, is like the perfect thing to do. They got they got a fluid engine. The, the custom merch is great. Online store, sell your products on the online store. It's, it's awesome. Uh, they got a bunch of different templates you can choose from. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to www.squarespace.com slash Friday to save 10% off on your first purchase of a website or domain. Guys, Squarespace rules. Do it, man. Let's get back in the episode. Give me your cracker of the week. Okay. Th- I don't know who this is, but this is, uh, I don't know. I think I should win if that's your strongest, but no, uh, it's the first one. It's not a competition anymore, man. We're just, we're out here having fun. It is for me. All right. Fair enough. Oh, oh yeah. I know this kid. Have you seen this video though? Uh, no. This is now one of my favorite videos on the internet. This is, uh, this is your sign not to get a cameo from Alex Do- Doherty. And so this is a cameo, I guess. Someone screen recorded. Uh, hey, uh, Dominic, um, I hear that it's your birthday. Uh, I don't really know how old you're turning, but, um, both, uh, uh, I don't really have anything for me to say, but I hear that you're turning 20. Um, but I can't really roast you because I don't really have any info on you. So, Bella... Next time, put give me some info so I can roast him. But Dominic, uh, if if your girlfriend re- if if your girlfriend really wants me to roast you, that just shows you who your girlfriend is. Peace. Also, your girlfriend's only with you to get to me. Yeah, duh. Peace. That was awesome. My favorite part is he goes so. For the listeners, he's just driving, like, looking at the phone half the time. Clearly just banging out a cameo on the way to wherever. He's like, Dominic, I don't really know. Yeah, I don't know how old you're turning. So, uh, Dominic, congrats on turning 20. Like, he clearly didn't read the thing. Yeah. And then he realized, like, oh, the information is there. It's awesome. Yeah, who is this? Oh, he's just, his mom, like, has a TikTok account where they have, uh, he has nine other siblings. So. Yeah, it's a it's the a, Doherty dozen. It's 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 the Weasley family if they all fell down the stairs, <laughs> like while they were in the tummy. Yeah, like nine Weasleys were in Mrs. Weasley, and she like dogs. They all spilled out. Yeah. Um. Do you want me to do another one, and then you we go to you, or do you want to do? Oh, the, JoJo was my only cracker of the week. Okay, th- I've been meaning to show you this video for a while. This is a classic. I don't know if it'll hold up. So the lore behind this, this is my honorary cracker of the week. The lore behind this is that this is an audio recording a guy took of his friend. They both took a bunch of acid. His friend locked himself in a closet and was just talking to himself. And that's what this audio is. Awesome. What does this guy think? He's an Indian? What is he, a goddamn asshole? What the fuck is he doing? Not ever. No way. Now he's Johnny Hammersticks. Hammering away like he's freaking Tommy Noble. What the hell's he doing? Think she's think she's got it going bossing over. No way. <laughs> no way. What is this garbage? Who's this guy? Mr. Balloons. Mr. Balloon Hands. No way. No way. Get real. Like those things. Mr. Walkway. Mr. Walk down me. I'm the walkway. Lead me to the building. Fuck you. <laughs> Five, six, four, three. Yeah, right. You're some stupid bitch. Who paid for that floor? Not me. No way. Never be for no floor ever again. Not once. Not never. Nope. Whose chair is that? <laughs> Who bought that goddamn chair? That's not my chair. That was awesome. Where the fuck did you find that? That well, dude, that's a legendary video. I've never seen it. Um, we'll, we'll obviously cut around. Uh, we're not gonna play that whole thing. But yeah, I really hope that lore's true because otherwise the video loses a little soul for me. Yeah, the soul is knowing that he's alone in the room and he's tripping balls. Yeah. All right, characters. Of- um. Yep. Yeah. 
I bet you hit me. Hit me, baby. All right. Mm -mm -mm. I need a good name. Migris the Long. What? Migris the Long. Migris? Migris the Long. I can't hear you. Migris the Long. Spell that. M-I-G-R-I-S. Okay, a Migris. The Long. You're a Target employee, and you've been bringing me clothes all day to try on, and I just won't buy any of them. And I keep trying them on. Yeah, uh, sorry, these didn't fit. Okay. Um, I'll try the um, XL in that one now. Okay. Or actually, let me do the small on that one. Okay. Yeah, but I bet this one will fit. Just wait right up there for me. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, Mike. I'm not your little fucking whore anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not your little fucking whore anymore. See what you're missing out on? See that? Watch this. I'm going to rub this shirt all over my ass. I'm going to rub poop all over it, and I'm going to mail it to one of my followers, and you're not going to get any of it, Mike. Sorry, buddy. <sighs> Sorry, dude. This one didn't fit. Can I try the uh, the small in the uh, suede over there? I accidentally overheard you. I actually, I accidentally overheard that combo. Uh, what combo? You're like talking about like rubbing the shirt on your ass and stuff. That was the oh, that was the guy in the dressing room next to me. The small suede's good. I'll just be a second. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Tommy. I'm not your little fucking whore anymore. Yeah, look what you're missing out on. Yeah. Yeah, you want me to get naked for you? Fuck you. Fuck you. I have millions of people paying to see this. You're nothing. <sighs> yeah, that one didn't fit. Okay. Um. What if we... Tr I think you're like an XL or a double XL. I think these are too small for you. <laughs> what? Like the shirts. Um, I have a favor. Yeah. Can you run down to the uh, newborn section and grab me a shoes, uh, grab me a onesie, um, and maybe like just kind of any prop, baby props you have? Can you guarantee me that you'll buy it? Because if you're, you're, you're making, I, I can hear you making videos in there. Guy next to me. No. He's been, I checked. He's there's, been chattering all day. I looked under. There's no guy in there. Yeah, you're not allowed to do that. So now I can sue. Okay. Uh, but if I go get... Now, now I just made a million dollars. Yep. Um, I'm not going to get you the baby stuff unless you say you're going to buy it. How much do you make an hour? What? Minimum wage. And you're going to fight me on this? The guy, the guy, the guy making minimum okay, wage. The guy okay. No, no, I'm not done. The guy making me, the guy making minimum wage is going to fight me on this. Here's the baby shit, man. Make your. I make ten thousand dollars a post. That's awesome. Why don't it you? Is. Just, why don't you buy some clothes then if you have that much money? Here's the baby shit. I actually don't care if you buy it or not. I don't want it anymore. Now you're not, and now you're not going to get commission. I don't get commission. Yeah, well, now you're not going to. Never, never was gonna. Is it like an OnlyFans thing? What do you have going on back there? I have another favorite ask. Okay. So I do want the baby stuff. Uh, would you mind taking a video of something for me? I'd rather not. You're going to have to come inside. I'll double your salary. What are they paying you? Minimum wage. Yeah. Okay. And how and and how do you even get a job here? I'll take I'll take the video, man. And how do you even get a job here? Do you apply? And where would I apply if I needed money? What do you mean? Where would I apply if I needed, if I wanted to work here, if I needed money? <laughs> You'd fill out an application here. Yeah, so I'm going to fill out an application to work fucking minimum wage with you? Okay. And you have any openings? We do. I would love to, to get uh, started. I thought you made $10,000 a post. Mm, $10,000, yeah. Here, this is an application. Look, man, I got to go help other customers so I can make this video for you real quick, but then I got to go. I live in here. What? 
I li- I live in the camping section. I set up some of the I set up a bunch of dog beds to hide. I live in here. You can't live in here, man. Why are you telling me this? I don't know. I gotta tell some. I gotta tell my boss that you live here. I'll probably kill you if you try. <sighs> probably I'll probably fall out of your car, cut your fucking head off if you tell him. I'm sorry. All right, yeah. I won't tell him. You put in a good word for me. Yes. But you gotta move. I'll out. be a good employee. Okay, but no weird videos in the dressing rooms and no living here anymore, man. You gotta move out. No threatening to cut your coworkers' heads off. You just threatened. You told me you're gonna follow me into the parking lot and cut my head off. Yeah, but well, that was before ago. we were coworkers. So I have the job. I can't hire you. It's not my job. I got to give that application to my boss. Is there anything else I could help you with? No, nah, I appreciate you trying. Okay. All right. I love you. I don't know you. All right. Okay. That was it. <laughs> I love that. That was awesome. All right. That's all I got. Now you got a character. Oh, I do. Here we go. La, 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 la. Taking a quick break to talk to you again about game time. It's annoying getting to- concert tickets last minute. Really, really frustrating, especially when there's prices just all over the place. You can't find the right thing. Not with game time, though. You shouldn't have to worry about, you know, where you're going to buy your tickets or when you're going to get them. With killer last minute deals, all in prices, views from your seat, and their lowest price guarantee, game time takes the guesswork out of buying tickets. Easy to find and buy tickets for every kind of event in your area. Views from all the seats, that's one of my favorite things, is that you can actually see what it'll look like from this seat you're buying. It's very helpful. Flash deals, zone deals, all in pricing, game time ticket coverage. Your purchase is covered with the most flexible customer service policy in the ticketing industry. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. Download the game time app, create an account and use code Friday for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code F-R-I-D-A-Y Friday for $20 off. Download the game time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. And let's get back into the episode. Karma's a bitch. I should have known better. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. Like, literally the fact that you're singing that song right now. Yeah, she. that was tough. This is a big swing and a miss, man. Okay. Um, I don't really have anything for this. I just see where it goes. All right. I'm put this down. All right. This is Frankie Billups. And... Uh, you work at a restaurant and it's closing in five minutes and I show up. Cool. Yo, uh, just for one. Cool. Kitchen shutting down like five minutes. No you... worries. Okay. No food yeah. then just, can I, get, can I get you a water or something? Uh, can I get a menu? Sure. Just again, kitchen is closing in five minutes, so. How's your, uh... ooh, lemongrass chicken. How's that? It's good, but takes a while to kind of prep. Yeah, no worries. The kitchen closes in five minutes. So I, I could do They're something. They're going to cook that in five minutes? No, I don't think. Be- <laughs> I'd, I'd, like to, I'd like to see them cook that in five minutes. That's impressive. Uh, is there anything Can else? Can I get a dessert menu? It's on there. Oh, and um, we'll do two more waters, two more menus. I got some buddies about to show up. Yeah, kitchen closes in five minutes. So I, unless Cool, they want- said they'd be right here. Yeah, but it, it, it even in five minutes, we're not going to be able to get all your food back to you. The kitchen closes in five minutes. So I can get you drinks or I can get you like chicken fingers or something really quick. Yeah, we'll start with some chicken fingers. That's about all I could do. That's fine. That's all I want right now. And then when you come back, um, my friends will probably still be here. And um, can I get a dessert menu? Yeah, I'll do the lemongrass chicken. Um with uh blooming onion and uh uh oh how about a souffle man what do you think i mean when i say the kitchen's closing in five minutes don't you want my money yes but i you know people have to go home yeah i have to go home too like that's just not that's gonna take 30 minutes to prepare what's the uh code for the bathroom there's no code. You just go go use it if you want. Okay, so if I put in my order, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and come back. Is that fine? I and I and my friends. Sure, will be I'll here. I'll see if the guys can can make it back there. No, I'll, I'll, ask. Go, I'll go talk to them. I'll come with you. Maybe if they put a face to a name, it'll be a little easier to pitch that. I'm okay. trying to help you. Okay, okay, we can try that. All right, let's go. Hey guys, 
This dude wants uh, lemongrass chicken. Lemongrass chi- I got it. Lemongrass chicken. No, we can't do that. We, we got to wrap up here. Uh, you sure? I mean, yes. Nah, man, get him out of here. Yes, yeah, I'll see. do the flint. I'll do the skirt. Nah, steak. man, we we done in here. I just wiped down the stove. All right, get him out of here. Okay, yeah, you heard, you heard the you heard the racist woman <laughs> doing black voice, right? <laughs> yeah, our racist kitchen worker says you can't, you can't have your chicken. So you know what? I was really gonna hammer it home, but I guess I'll head home. Yeah, dude, I'll try a different restaurant. <laughs> yeah, you imagine dealing with that all day. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Oh my! It's just the white God. chick back there doing that voice all day. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised she's she got an oxygen tank hooked up. Mm-hmm. She's sm- smoking a cigarette out of mm-hmm. the hole in her throat. Yep. That sucks. Yep. Now I feel bad for asking. Don't worry about it, dude. That's why I want to close up so I can get the fuck Does out of there. Have, does she have elephantitis? No, I think she's, I don't know. She, I mean, she's got whatever, like the, what what group of people is really hairy? Greeks? The Greeks are Italians. Yeah, she's neither, but she's as hairy as both of them. Combined. Yeah. She looks like she's got Hulk hands on. Like her hands, they don't, the proportionally don't fit the size of her body. Yeah. It's, it's like that Always Sunny episode where the lawyer has fake hands on. Yeah. But that, but it's a real hands. That is, how does she cook with that? I don't know. More importantly, how is she going to cook my meal with that? Tell them to get out of here. Get out of here. All right. See you later. <laughs> Why did you say I was doing black voice? No, I'm funny. literally a, it was doing an Italian. That was awesome. An Italian I, chef. That, you could have got you were you were leaning and well now we have to cut that because then I'm gonna be yelled at as being racist and I'm not racist. We'll see how it sounds after. Don't worry about it. To me, it came off as you were doing some sort of uh, a bit of a, a bit of an urban accent. Really, I, I was I, doing an Italian I, voice. I love. N- I love nothing more than walking into a brick wall during one of my characters. I don't know where the fuck I was like. I well, guess you I'll looked just... at me and you asked me to start talking. You, I know that. Oh, look. did you? Did you? Yes. Ask, ask yes. Emily to... No, I did, but okay. like, I thought you just jumped in, and I was like, "This is awesome." No, no, no. It was great. Yeah, it was great. I what can't... was I supposed to do? No, you did. You handled that perfectly. So why are you saying that you're walking into a brick wall? Because because you can't just say no. Nah, we're not doing that. Nah, no, no, no yeah, yeah, nah, guy, no, no. Oh, I thought you were supposed to like fight me on it. Yeah, anyone else would have done the same fucking thing in that. Fucking, fucking. Well, now we have to cut that because I don't want to be racist. I'm just kidding. No, and it wasn't a great character to start with anyway. So do we have to cut it? We'll figure it out later. Okay. We'll, figure we'll figure it out, it out later. later. All right. You are 71 year old Greg Blandino. You've owned and operated Blandino's Pizzas pizza since the early 80s you are reading some more yelp reviews okay wait emily should play one of the kitchen staff helping me out oh oh and this yeah yeah just like last time yeah uh, let's do that again and you're my you're my son that works with me yeah pretty much okay what is this we got uh these are reviews Mm -hmm. good this will help with the investors Oh, these are pretty good. Four stars here. I don't know what they do, but the crust is insanely good. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate you. Another four star. Almost a perfect pizza. A little cold when I got it. Four stars. That's fair. I mean, sometimes, it's a, yeah. Jake H. says, hell is empty. The devil lives here. <laughs> All right, moving on. There's some Sanskrit or something here. Yeah, another another one from Jake H. Maybe it's like ancient... Hebrew or something. I got to copy and paste this into Google Translate real quick. I now know for a fact that God is real, not because I felt him, but because I felt his absence. So spoiled by his presence, I had become numb to it. God withdrew his hand from me the second I stepped foot into Plantino's. (laughs) And the garlic knots are actually crack. Five stars. Come bear witness to a mix of angelic and demonic power in its purest form. Okay, not really. We're kind of going for like a 90s throwback vibe, but yeah. yeah. Jenny M, my skin burnt. <laughs> my skin burned under the gaze of Blandino. <laughs> Legit, I have sunburn. A very mild one, but still, that's fucking nuts. His pupils swam. <laughs> His pupils swam like goldfish. 
His pupils swam like goldfish in a plastic bag, and his farts sounded exactly like me screaming. Five stars. I don't ever remember farting on a customer. Oh, that's weird. That is weird. Four stars. Fire pizza. Fucker at the counter. <laughs> Farted, though, and it sounded like someone <laughs> screaming. Like the Wilhelm scream or whatever the fuck. That scream that's in a ton of movies, you know? All right. Try not to show any weakness in there. <laughs> Guy running the place seems like he would pick up on that and try to do something to you. I don't know. Five stars. Reviews are good. <laughs> it's a lot of five stars. A lot of five stars. Levi Pront says, I'm like 90% sure I fucked Blandino at some point. <laughs> Maybe the 90s. When I saw him at first, I thought I... I, I when I saw him, my first thought was, I think I fucked that guy from the 90s, maybe. Weird deja vu. Like, I think me and this guy maybe fucked before. Weird. Like, 95% sure we fucked, actually. Pizza's superb. I didn't want to ask him because there were other people there. thought it'd be weird if I was like, yo, did we fuck? Would have been in the ballpark at 93, 96, New England region. When there's, like, a lady there just picking up her food, I'm not even 100% sure we fucked you, you know? Five stars. Pretty... <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good reviews. Pretty good. A lot of five stars. All right. <laughs> all right. That's it. That's all my characters for today. <laughs> Dude. Hell is empty. The devil lives here. <laughs> the goldfish is the craziest thing I've ever heard. His eyes. Okay, guys. Fun little announcement. We're so close to 100,000, so share the pod. Share it with your listeners. And to thank you, little fuckers, thank you, little bugs, we're doing a little giveaway. Finally, um, check it out. Someone sent in a gorgeous design, Blandino's Pizza. Look at the back. Emily, zoom in on this or throw an image up. This is incredible. Who designed this, Emily? Uh, her name's Julia. Julia! Her, I'll throw up her Instagram here. This Julia. is an incredible design. Fantastic. Um, See what I like. What I love is is merch like this that like you can wear, regardless. Of, you know, it's it's almost it's like an inside joke, but it, it stands alone. Oh, I didn't even read before. This man is a monster, but it's, he makes a damn good pizza. It's incredible. This is awesome, dude. I'm so happy. Um, this is some of my favorite merch I've ever been a part of. Not that I'm a part of it, but like this is awesome. It's in my orbit, you know. This is awesome. Thank you, Julie. So. Uh, Emily, how's the giveaway work? This is so detailed and awesome. So we're about to hit 100K subscribers, so we're going to give away a bunch of these Blandinos shirts. Oh, oh, oh. So all you have to do is comment on this YouTube video, or we're posting uh, a little post on Instagram about this, so comment on the Instagram post as well. Must be subscribed, and we're going to pick a bunch of winners to get some shirts, and... Yeah, the, the, contest, the contest ends when we get to 100K subscribers. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for joining us for another episode. It's another week of being alive. Thank you, guys. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back next week. Um, God bless you.